It took less than 10 minutes for divers to collect this haul of Northern Pacific sea stars from Hobart's River Derwent. So that hasn't made a dent underneath the jetty. There's still thousands. Marine scientist Benny Vincent is passionate about changing that. She spends plenty of time underwater photographing native species. Then she turns the photos into wearable art. Especially this year I've noticed a lot more because I've dived in here a lot more regularly. You just don't see the little hermit crabs around as much and the shrimp um, in the same densities that I've seen them over the years. The sea star is a major threat to Tasmania's endemic spotted handfish in the Derwent estuary and to the shellfish industry on the state's southeast coast. It's believed to have arrived in Hobart in ballast water around 40 years ago. The numbers are absolutely huge. There's literally millions of them here in the Derwent estuary at the moment. Local divers are determined to make a dent in the sea star populations around the Hobart waterfront. Benny Vincent has brought together a group of volunteers who carry out regular, organised dives to help tackle the problem, starting this weekend. It won't be the first time a concerted effort has been put in to clean up the infested waters. Over the past few decades, thousands of sea stars have been removed from the river. It's hoped consistency will be the key to the latest plan's success. If we just did it for a few months and stopped it, it'll do nothing. Um, even a year will do nothing. I think three to five years it will be before we'll be able to notice a big difference in the numbers. The divers are planning to go out a few times every month. The best you can do is probably try and manage some of the, the higher impact areas where they're having a, you know, a, a particular conservation impact, such as on the, on the handfish core habitat. The divers are hopeful they'll achieve that, even if eradication may be too tough a challenge. Selena Ross, ABC News.